What's going on guys, girls? Joey Pondra back with another of the notes. Wow, it's bright as hell outside. Um, today, I'm actually gonna get new shoes, but also I'm gonna have to take my bumper off and re-secure my inner core. So what had happened was I was driving and uh, I hit an animal. I think it was already dead. And the blood was everywhere, all over this. This got worse. And the animal was so big, it was like this high off the ground, that it went under so far that it hit my inner core or whatever, and it's loose. So I think it knocked the little, the two bolts out that are on the bottom or whatever, because when I'm in first gear and I let off the clutch a little bit, it fucking like, fucking shakes. It's like, I can't even, can't even fucking, I don't even know how to explain it, but. I tried a video for you, but it's really annoying, so I'm about to go ahead and do that. So let's uh let's go get some shoes. Let's get some shoes. Shoes. Oh my god, shoes. Let's get some shoes. Let's get some shoes. So let's see if you guys can hear the noise. Made it to the local 5-Eleven, the, uh, the local overpriced public safety gear place. Ready? Alright, well, damn, looks sexy. Alright, let's get some shoes. Evo. So actually it wasn't that bad. The whole store was off 20%. I got a I got some shoes. I got this little quick release key holder and I got a shirt. So uh, might as well take advantage of the 20% off. So 511 is where it's at. Well until the sale ends so then then you'd be paying. 120 bucks for shoes instead of 80, you know what I mean? So, it's time to go take this bumper off to fix the center cooler. Monsoon outside, welcome to Florida. Uh, almost home. I had to stop by the BK Lounge and Publix. The BK Lounge, got myself an Angry Whopper. Probably one of the best burgers you'll ever have in your life from a fast food restaurant, the Angry Whopper. It is a regular Whopper with jalapenos, fried jalapenos, sweet and tangy sauce, bacon, cheese, Lettuce, tomato, pickle. God, that's fucking annoying. It's such a good burger, but. Oh, God, this is bad. My dog's probably shitting all over the carpet right now. Damn it. Look at it. Look at that Florida. Look. If I travel fucking 300 feet east, I'm in the clear. And then if I travel. 400 feet west, I'm in the clear. But if I'm in the middle, fucking Tornado City. I made it through the storm. Flower. Hold on. 
Jesus. What's going on? Oh, God. Not the orchids. Not the gumdrop buttons. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Well. I don't know, Leo, what do you think? My dog's fucking scared of shit. All right, just got done cooking dinner. Now, time to take off the bumper and see what's going on with this intercooler. So, let's take it off. Okay, bumper's off. Uh, I forgot I zip tied the back of the splitter. So right there, right there, and right there. So that's why I had to go into the car. Uh, other than that, cool. Well, I think, what the fuck? Hear that? I put these I forgot, wow, I did this a long time ago. Put these in between here. I rigged it a little bit so it wouldn't vibrate. This one obviously came out, as you can see. So, yeah, it's not my best work, but this was something that I did really quick because it was annoying me and I was gonna fix it later, but obviously it didn't, but that's that's gotta stop. So let me go ahead and secure this. Okay, tighten the two bolts in the bottom. I adjusted the, the intercooler a little bit. Also tighten the bolts. I put those rubber pieces back in, just in case I hit something else, whatever. So, and it's a little little ghetto, but they're like little rubber, rubber grommets I made. So, kind of factory, kind of not. Now the next thing, oh, look at all these fucking branches on this shit. Get out of here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Next thing I'm gonna fix. Oh, I KTM. I'm gonna fix this right here. That kind of broke. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. It's just one little nut. And uh, yeah, then we get through this bumper back on. Just like that. Back to Norman. Um, I just need to get one more bolt. One more nut to go right here. Uh, where, where is it, where is it, where is it? Well, right here, but I really don't need it there. Um, this one broke. Right there. So I think I'm just gonna take that bolt out and resubmit it to one of these holes so it holds this here, because I don't know how. I need to get a new one, but. Yeah. I did the same thing to this one, as you can see. Holds it on pretty good, same thing over here. So, I'll go ahead and do that to that one. All right, there we go. Pushed all the way in there. I bypassed these. Just put all bolts in between each one. Skip that one, because that one's there. And on the other side, it looks like it's never been taken off. Would you look at that? Mint. So, that is how you fix your mesh, and also how to fix the vibrating 3.5 inch um, intercooler. Uh, it is, it was hitting the horn, like right, see how close it is right, right here? It was hitting that. So if you wanna go in depth, you can grind that down, because you really don't need that piece. Or you could just do what I did and either get grommets or take a messed up coupling and cut it in half. So, yep, let's go put this bumper back on. 
Ooh, okay, bumpers off, I mean, bumpers on, everything's good. Um, there's one thing that uh, I see a lot of Evos when I go to car shows that's uneven, and I'm not sure if they notice it, but you know, I, I, I notice it because I hate it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here, this line. See how it's not even? It's obviously supposed to be even. So basically what you do is you pop the hood and before you put that little plastic uh, piece on that covers the intercooler piping and all the bolts. Okay, get this up. Boom. Okay, basically what you do is you loosen these. You loosen it, you pull it out. You loosen this one, you pull it out until it's even with that side or vice versa. And that's how you get straight. It's gonna take you a few tries, you know, put the hood down, look at it, put the hood back up, pull it a little more, that, whatever. It's just something extra that, you know, I've seen on a lot of Evos. And it, like, honestly, even if it's not even my car, it pisses me off because it's just uneven and it's annoying. So there should be markings where this is supposed to go, but over time, the markings disappear to where, like, you don't even know where it's supposed to go. So anyway, so yeah, that's how you fix that. And yeah, a little, little food for thought. So if you guys like this video, please push that subscribe button and that like button. If you have anything to say, put it in the comments. I'm gonna try to do daily uploads, but it's kind of hard because I have a full-time job and it's kind of a serious job. So I'm not able to do, you know, everyday uploads. And plus I do all my editing and all my filming on my phone. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.